This might be one of Missouri's prettiest places to enjoy autumn scenery. It's Poozie Conservation Area near Chillicothe, with almost 6,000 acres of forest, fields, and fishing lakes. Normally, the scenic side roads here are limited to those wanting to walk or ride horseback. It's a good afternoon for a ride. But once a year... Hello! You've got a van load, don't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's your handful of brochures okay, telling okay. you what you'll see. Cars are allowed on a fall driving tour. We have a lot of the locals that just enjoy getting off on the side roads. Our main road is open year-round, but the side roads we keep shut down uh, for hunters, uh, for uh, trails. A uh, little bit of privacy for those kind of things, uh, limited use. But uh, some of the people don't, can't get down into those trails, so this gives them an opportunity at least once a year to drive through the trees, up and down the hills and hollers. I feel like this is probably the most peaceful place on the lake right here, and this is where we picnicked. For Margie Scott and a handful of others here, this road leads to childhood memories. Her dad grew up here when Poozie wasn't conservation land, but a rural community where people built houses, schools, churches, sawmills, and a few stills here and there. And it follows this dotted line. And this this map down. gives an idea of what Poozie looked like around the early part of the century when Margie's dad grew up. Years later, he would bring Margie here to visit. The neat thing about it is this is old home week for some of these folks. They've, they've come to this very spot for, for literally decades. They've carved their names on the wall. They've, uh, they've had social gatherings here, family picnics. Uh, after church, this was the spot to go. It's a neat place. When the depression hit and farming wasn't profitable, people left Poozie to find work and the settlement slowly emptied out. But starting in the 70s, the Missouri Department of Conservation began buying the land. Now it's a favorite spot for anglers, trail riders, hunters, and nature lovers year-round, not just in the fall. And Margie says that's something that would make her dad very happy. For years, Dad had talked about it a long, long time before it ever happened, and he was so proud and so happy that everybody was going to be able to enjoy what he and all of our families had enjoyed all those years. And it's full of people, full of horseback riding, and, and that's what it should be. It's, that's, that's exactly what would have made him happy. <laughs>